Okay, Paul, we have a, an interesting site here. Uh, first uh, deciduous uh, dominated site we've looked at, and the forest floor looks a bit different to me, but could you explain uh, a little bit about what's going on at this site? Sure. Well, what's happened here is a couple of things. We have a, a different uh, species mix in the forest, so this is a naturally regenerated birch dominated stand, about 40 years old. And if you look at the forest floor, there's a couple of things that are really immediately obvious. First of all, you can see all of the deciduous leaf litter on the surface. But when you dig down into the forest floor, you see something that's quite different from any of the other uh, humus forms that we've observed at Aliza Lake. And what's distinctive here is the result of the activity of exotic introduced European earthworms that have come into this settled part of British Columbia over the last hundred years. So when we look at the surface of the forest floor, you can observe the layer of litter, so mostly birch leaves, and it's not really that thick. And you only have to go down about a centimeter, and then you start seeing bits of mineral soil that are brought up to the surface. And then as you poke at the surface of this forest floor, you can see that there's actually been quite a good degree of intermixing of, of uh, mineral and organic material. And in fact, there's the culprit. There is one of these earthworms. And so what they're doing is creating an example of mull humus, which is not really very common in, in uh, this part of British Columbia without the presence of these earthworms. It's just not usually found in forest ecosystems. So here, the earthworms are completely changing the nature of the forest floor as a result of their uh, kind of homogenizing uh, activity, incorporating the leaf litter, intermixing it with the mineral material and producing this, this thin AH horizon, which is about probably 40 years old.